Hello and welcome back. I'm Vincent, if you hadn't noticed, and I'm back with another Let's Blend series. This time round, it'll be a bow. So it's the same modelling, unwrapping, texturing, that sort of stuff. Except, we're going to animate our bow, which will require rigging. So without any further ado, let's get into making our new bow in Blender. Alright, so we're going to start off with uh, modelling the bow. So we're going to add a cube, uh, Alt-J to move it to the centre, that would be helpful. And uh, now we are going to go into edit mode. Now, uh, we are only going to model half of the bow and use a mirror modifier to make the other half. So we need to move it on the y-axis one metre, so that one side is level with the axis, and then when we mirror it, it will line up perfectly. Now we need to set the cursor on this side so everything like rotation and scaling is done in relation. So we'll just change it here to 3D cursor and then when we scale it, it'll keep to that point because we don't want any gaps when we're mirroring it. So we'll scale it on the Y axis and we're just going to model the body of the bow now will be extruding, rotating and scaling extruding, rotating and scaling to get a nice curve we'll need to take it off 3D cursor because it, it's, uh, it's now just independent rotate just move a tiny bit to get a nice curve. Scaling it in, it's going to get thinner towards the end of the bow. And by the way, when you extrude a face, it will um, it will be set to the normal line, so you won't actually have to define. Uh, y, X, or Z. Uh, as you can see, it's just doing it in the straight line already for me, which is really helpful. That's a bit out of line. I'll just put that back in place. And we'll continue. Extruding, moving it along a tiny bit, scaling, and rotating. And uh, I believe this is the last part. So that is half of the body done. I'm just going to zoom in a bit and do some little tweaking. That looks about right. Okay. So now we are going to smooth the mesh. So it looks. Um, doesn't look with like it's got hard edges. It just look nice and smooth. Actually makes it look much higher poly, which is what we need for a game to save on performance. And so you go into modifiers tab, and we're going to hit mirror. Now it's mirrored it, but on the wrong axis. It's done it on the X we want on the Y. Perfect. And just apply it. If you don't apply it it'll just be a visual when you apply it it actually becomes the mesh and then that's done okay now what is a bow without a string you can't really shoot someone if there's no string there uh, and it also needs a grip I think we'll make a nice lever grip so that, that's going to be easy just add a cube scale it down uh, leave it just off the surface 
so you don't get um, any mix in between the meshes. If they're on the exact same place, not only will there be no point, because the handle's meant to be have a thickness to it, but the faces will mix together, you'll get really horrible uh, glitches with the graphics. And we also need to smooth it. And that is the handle. I always prefer modeling in low poly. Uh, not only uh, is it good for games, but if you do decide that you're going to make it higher poly, all you have to do is something called subdividing uh, the mesh. And that'll make it higher poly, uh, yet still keeping the original shape that you made on the low poly version. And this is the string. This is a uh, stretched out cube. Now, if you hit shift and then an axis, uh, it will affect all axes but that. So, so I hit shift Y there because we want to make it thinner but not shorter. So we don't want it to affect the Y axis. So just hitting shift Y is an easy way to accomplish that than doing X and Z separately. Move it into position. Now I know this isn't uh, completely realistic, it doesn't just go into the bow. You need to actually string it, but that requires a lot more detail in the model. Uh, and to be honest, it's going to be too small to see anyway, so that's just fine for us. And now we need to add the part on the string where you hold it, and then you notch the arrow on that part. So again, just shift Y, uh, we can scale it. Move it into more center position. Zoom in. And perfect. And we're just going to make it a bit shorter. Because after all, it is only for the finger to go on, not the whole hand. Okay. So. Uh, this has been part one of um, Let's Blend a Bow. We've modelled it so far. Um, so it is, it is uh, looking pretty nice. Next episode we will be rigging it, which means applying bones so we can animate it. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe, and stay tuned for the next episode of Let's Blend a Bow.